Christina Tarantino, and her husband, a sergeant in the U.S. Army, have both been raised as Roman Catholic, she in Mannheim, Germany, he in Florida. But when Chris Tarantino deployed to Iraq in 2006, his wife began to ask questions about life and death that led to her conversion to Islam. I was really, really scared something was going to happen to him, said Christina Tarantino. She started to wonder what happened after death, she said, and how to best live life on earth. She was spending time with her older sister, who had converted to Islam after marrying a Palestinian, and she sought her sister's guidance. Her sister's answers about Islam made sense to Christina, and gave her some serenity, she said. She discussed her spiritual progress with her husband in frequent phone calls between. Even so, I was kind of shocked when I heard her say it. I've accepted Islam, Chris, now a sergeant, said. His first question was whether she had begun wearing a hijab. She wasn't ready yet, she said, but he didn't ask her a lot, he said. I asked for guidance in my prayers. And by last year, the second time he deployed to Iraq, the blonde, blue-eyed soldier had also become a Muslim. He decided not to hide it. I went to Kuwait and bought a prayer rug and started praying right there, he said. I saw it wasn't the end of the world to say I was Muslim. During the past decade of fighting in Muslim countries, some soldiers occasionally have to battle perceptions that Muslims are hostile to the military they serve. Chris enlisted in the army in 1998. He said he'd never had any feelings, positive or negative, about Muslims, even when heading to Iraq. All I knew was we were going to combat, he said. As a soldier, I just did what I was told. They say ignorance is bliss. I guess I was ignorant. Then, as his wife grew more religious, and he was drawn with her to a Sunni mosque in Mannheim, I follow the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. What the Prophet Muhammad teaches does not condone that, Chris said. I don't associate myself with radicalism whatsoever. But his situation is unusual. He's the only U.S. soldier at his German mosque, one of the few Muslims in the army, and one of even fewer Muslim soldiers who are not from a traditionally Muslim family or African-American. I have to say that I've met zero that are of my race, he said. And although the couple's conversion is personal, not political, his views on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and war in general, have changed. As Muslims, we believe that if you kill one innocent person, it's as if you killed the entire world. But if you save one person, you save the entire world, said Chris, who was in the Signal Corps and works on communications equipment. I want to be on the side that's helping. At home, the Tarantinos continue to study their new faith and seek to live it as fully as they can. Christina wears a hijab when she leaves the house as well as a long skirt and long sleeves. In Germany, her clothes rarely raise an eyebrow. At their mosque, for instance, there are so many German converts, she said, mostly women. There are also Moroccans, Bosnians, Poles, and Russians. The family lives on base, and when she goes to the commissary, people stare at her. I feel like an astronaut, she said. Last time when I went with my sister, they asked her if she was there to work. She continued, explaining that some Turkish women wearing hijabs cleaned the local schools. I tell my husband, they probably think you brought me from Iraq. But her husband has never had a problem with acceptance. Soldiers in his unit, the 72nd Signal Battalion Rear Detachment, know he's a Muslim. I'd stop for prayer. I'd talk to them about Islam because it's my chance to do a good deed, he said. At first they were, what? You are? Really? He said. After, they'd say, Sergeant Tarantino, it's prayer time. They were respectful, he said. Only once did he get a bad reaction. He greeted a brother, another Muslim soldier, and an African American by saying in Arabic, peace be upon you. And the other soldier said, shh, Chris said. He plans to get out of the army within the next year and move the family to the United States, 
Christina plans to continue working toward a bachelor's degree in communications, and her husband plans to continue his studies at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The same stuff I've been trained to do, just without a gun, he said. The couple met on base in Mannheim more than a decade ago. They've been married three times, once at City Hall, once in church, and the last time at their mosque. One of the hardest things about their conversion had to do with their two young sons. We were like, what do we tell the kids, Christina said. So, gradually, there was no tooth fairy, no Santa Claus. They took it very well. Chris gets a little uncomfortable when the discussion gets around to the afterlife. The promise to men of multiple virgins and the possibility of taking more wives in the future. His wife made it clear where she stands. It's an option, but it doesn't mean it's an option you should take, Christina said. I have to say, we're very Europeanized that way, 